hi guys you are welcome to precision's channel where we discuss love faith and everything between today we are discussing about the three riddles you need to solve to stay alive let's get started yes yes you are welcome back as i said today we are discussing the three riddles you need to solve to stay alive and before i start please tap that subscribe button okay and subscribe and hit on your notification button also so that when i post a new video you can get it and make sure to drop your comments at the comment section remember to like so let's get into today's topic so like i said we are discussing the riddles you need to solve to stay alive first of them all is that you must be born again you must be born again what were you thinking oh okay you thought i'm coming to arrange some puzzle for you to solve it and eh? or some mathematical equation no you must be born again that is the riddle and how do you solve that riddle of being born again yes being born again is very very important and it is one of the utmost riddles that you must solve in life to be born again i nearly but i said whatever riddle so you must solve this riddle to be born again you might say what is born again must i get into my mother's womb and be given birth again or what is born again mind you this word has been there even before the foundation of the world yes in genesis when adam and eve sinned the bible said that god slaughtered a lamb and used the skin of the lamb to cover them up he was just signifying the fact that god is coming to do some kind of cleansing he's going to offer sacrifice to come and cleanse his children or to cover the shame of his children so you can see that in the bible he spoke about the salvation that will come that's why john 3 16 says that god gave his only begotten son so that you and i will be saved and jesus spoke to some people and he said except a man be born again he will not see the kingdom of god nor to enter inside i'm sure you want to enter into heaven you've had this description of heaven in your mind a street full of gold you'll be walking but those who are thinking heaven is full of snow hey please why do you want snow to be in heaven really really okay but you know that beauty and um, that beautiful experience or that imagination or that dream you have of heaven it will not materialize if you are not born again that's why the nicodemus jesus had to tell him except a man be born again he cannot enter the kingdom of god so god is not saying that become a child enter into the womb of your mother and be born again no that's not what he's saying he can simply accept jesus as your lord and your personal savior and you'll be saved as simple as a b c as simple as that so what is the first thing that you need to be born again being born again is confessing jesus as your lord and your personal savior that is the first riddle you need to solve to even start living you i know you have dreams of getting married buying that car j wagon everything but those things will not matter if you are not born again so you might ask yourself why are you saying blah 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 i need to give my life to christ i need to be born again really was i there when adam sent let me tell you if you are chewing one nut and if you are chewing nuts and one is not good you realize that the whole mouth turns bitter just because of that one nut it's the same way in genesis 1 verse 28 god told adam and eve he said what multiply and fill the earth multiply and do what so god told adam and eve to multiply and fill the earth so what i'm sure you know about mammals what do mamas do they give birth to young ones of their own kind it's the same way god had programmed man to come from adam and eve that's what adam and eve yeah 
that's why he said what he said multiply and fill the head they didn't multiply with anything no it is me and you you and i yes they multiplied with mammals of their own kind if it makes sense they multiplied of their own kind that is why when adam and eat sin it affected everybody so that was how god programmed the whole thing to be okay so don't crack your head too much you see so it's as simple as abc you just need to be born again if you want to see the kingdom of god don't let that your dream of seeing heaven pass you by you have that opportunity right now you have the what the opportunity to give your life to christ you know jesus says what he stands at the door and knock if anyone hears his voice and open for him he will come in and dine with you hey the guy wants to fellowship with you yes jesus he is that friendly he said i call you my friends jesus is your friend okay stop running away some of you think that oh me if i give my life to christ i can enjoy life you see i i want to do things i want to enjoy life before who told you that jesus don't know what's up who told you hey charlie jesus know what's up okay he knows what's up more than you he can teach you he can teach you how the way you want to run that girl that you don't even know the lines you your lines are whack and jesus can teach you that was just by the way so you need to be born again that is the first riddle you should solve in life by giving your life to jesus if you give your life to jesus you have solved that riddle as simple as abc you have solved the riddle so what is the next thing that you need to do to also stay alive when i say stay alive i don't mean just living no if you don't have jesus you are just existing because when adam and eve sinned in genesis 2 verse 7 god said if you eat the fruit you would die he's talking about the fact that you've made your choice you will be cut away from me but in christ you are brought back to god that's why the Bible says that therefore if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. He said, all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And he said, and all things are of God who have reconciled us to himself. God is doing you our hour too. You don't want to come. Eh? He's with open arms. He's ready to welcome you. The story of the prodigal son. Eh? The child went and squandered the money, did all sorts of things. But when he was coming and he was afar off, the Bible said that the father opened his arms like he was ready to welcome the son. It's the same way God is ready to welcome you. Jesus actually gave that parable for us to know how God is waiting for us. And I've accepted the call. Better run. Don't wait till unless, uh, don't wait until it's late. Better now than never. I don't want to hear better late than never because maybe that late will be very very late ah uh, i've told you okay so the next riddle you need to solve to stay alive is the fact that all oh, do you want to guess do you want to guess what the next riddle is see this class it needs to be interactive so if you want to guess just guess for me so that your teacher don't need to even talk plenty okay anyway let me talk because my students they don't want to guess the thing the next riddle you need to solve is staying by a higher law you know in this world there are laws we have the law of gravity that says what anything that goes up must come down but we have a law that has defied the law of gravity that's the law of aerodynamics yes today we are back to class we are in school professor Prissy precisions channel we are in school so the thing you need to solve is the fact that you need to function by a higher law you see life is spiritual and we have something called the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus a law that is higher than sickness a lawyer that a law that is higher than poverty is higher than death the bible says jesus has defeated death the, he said the keys of death and hell are in my hands revelation 1 verse 18 that's why he said he that believes in me shall not taste death he is not lying let me tell you if you actually believe in the power of jesus 
you will leave this earth peacefully and enter into eternity a life full of eternity eternal life simple as that you don't need to suffer let me tell you the bible even said that amos walked and was not because god took him people actually leave this world peacefully you don't need to leave this world like as if it's war if you believe in jesus the bible says that he has come that you will have life and have it in abundance I'm sure you got it so the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus i was saying we have the law of gravity hey let me take my time the law of gravity we say that anything that goes up must come down but the law of aerodynamics has defined that aeroplanes go by lift they fly and they are not brought down they fly so they themselves land it means that law has been defied i will not say broken it still exists but another law has surpassed it it's the same way we have the law of sin and death and if you read in romans 8 verse 1 to 2 the bible says that there is therefore no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus hey today the brothel there's therefore no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus he said who walk not after the law but after the spirit he said for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus is able to take you that's why jesus said whoever believes in me has passed from death to life you see if you believe in jesus he said he that is from above is above all today we are going spiritual because life is spiritual it functions spiritually before physically that's why when god said let there be light he said it spiritually but physically there was light god the bible said that god who said things that be not although they were he says it you might not see the same physically but he declares brings it from the spirit into the physical hey i'm in the spirit i'm sure you are in the spirit too i'm enjoying this this is beautiful the bible says that jesus he upholds all things by the word of his power that's why this world cannot just crumble though the devil man allowed the devil to have access into the world because the devil didn't have access into the world until adam disobeyed god and gave the devil the authority but now if you are in christ the authority has been restored back to you so that's why right now the bible says that you are above and not beneath so that's the law of the spirit of life the law that is above and not beneath and what is the last thing that you need to do to stay alive the riddles you need to solve to stay alive i'm still on it but before i move to that one i want you to understand that man is a spirit you have a soul and you live in a body first thessalonians 5 verse 23 if you read in your bible it says that you have a soul a spirit and a body the bible says god is spirit and they that worship him should worship him in truth and in spirit that's why if you give your life to christ the bible says that you are one spirit with god now yes so you are one spirit with god so he didn't say you are that's why jesus said flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of god god is a spirit when someone dies the body is still here but the soul and the spirit is gone that's why when jesus was talking about heaven uh, the man that was in the abraham's bosom in heaven he says that in the presence of god he says that the person was there hmm? the soul the one who was in hell the soul was there and it was thirsty it means that it could still function so your spirit is there that is you yourself the body is the container and your soul is the functioning unit that's why if you are not yet given if you've not given your life to christ your soul is still functioning but your soul will get lost or condemned eternally that is put in the lake of fire there's eternal judgment that is the truth i'm not scaring you if you have jesus you'll be saved that's why jesus said what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul let me quickly jump to the last one but i know this i'll still tackle it in another set another segment or whatever the brother is not coming today but just bear with me okay okay so the last thing you need to solve to stay alive is to learn to leave the past behind 
move with the present and hope and enjoy the future if you are in christ the future is bright hmm? be optimistic not a pessimistic person hey today the brothel queen elizabeth i'm using your english anyhow okay so you need to learn to leave the past behind paul said i forget forgetting the things that are behind he said and moving forward for the things which are before the bible says that the path of the just shine brighter and brighter he says what you are always above not beneath so learn to leave the past behind that's the riddle you need to solve look forward and hope for the best be optimistic above all give your life to christ if you've not yet all these things i have said if you've not given your life to christ you will not benefit from it and if you've given your life to christ get to know the bible for yourself there are christians who don't even know where genesis is in the bible as sad as it may seem that is it thank you for watching i love you bye bye remember to share subscribe bye